Installing the wide stage server. Before starting the installation process of wide stage, you need to have installed the following. Node.js and the NPM package manager. The Bower package manager. To install or to have access to a MongoDB database, where all wide stage data will be stored. An SMTP mail server which will be used by wide stage server, when sending email messages. And GIT. First, using GIT, download the latest version of wide stage from the GitHub repository. Enter in the directory that has been just created, and check that there are files on it. Execute the Bower install command, to install all necessary Bower packages. If prompted, choose the latest AngularJS version available. After that, run npm install, to install all necessary npm packages. All the installation is done, notice the two directories just created for Bower and NPM packages. Let's prepare now the environment for wide stage. Execute node server.js, to initialize the server. By default the server initialization process will be listening in the 8089 port of your server. Open a web browser, and type the web address localhost 8089, hit return. And the wide stage server initialization wizard will appear. The first step, will ask you about the default port for wide stage and your MongoDB connection. Remember that a MongoDB database is necessary to run wide stage. The wide stage HTTP server port is by default 8089, but you can change that if that port is not free, or if you simply want to run wide stage on a different port. Provide the necessary connection data to connect with your MongoDB database. By default the initialization process presume that your MongoDB database is installed on the same server as your wide stage server, but that is only optional. Your MongoDB database can be installed in any other server, just provide the correct MongoDB server address and port. By default the wide stage database name is called wide stage, but you can change that if you want. Once everything is ok, just click next to proceed with the next step. The super admin credentials, here, provide the super admin email address, and the password you will use to admin your wide stage server. The super admin, is the top level user in your server, is the one that you will use to create users and many other administrative operations. Ensure that your password has a minimum length and complexity. Click next step when you are ready to continue. File Upload Storage For certain operations, users will need to upload files or images. There are two options for the storage of uploads in wide stage. Local In this option, 
all files will be stored locally in one local directory in your WideStage server. If you choose this option be sure you take care of those files in terms of backup and storage space. AWS S3 is more safe and reliable, with this option your files are stored and accessed outside of your WideStage server, so you don't need to take care of backups and storage space. If you choose this option provide the necessary connection and credentials for the server to connect your bucket. For now we are going to leave it as local. Click next when you are ready. Server configuration for sending emails. WideStage uses an SMTP server for sending emails, like password recovery, new users invitations and others. Fill here all necessary connection and credentials parameters of your SMTP server. Click next when you are ready. Other settings. In here, you can choose the default items per page in paginations and the default number of records you get when running queries against your server. The values by default are optimal, so you can leave those. Click next when you are ready. Finally, you will see a summary of the main parameters you just set up. If all settings are OK, then press the Save Server Configuration button. All your settings should be stored by now. You need to restart your server for the changes to be applied. As soon as you restart your server, just refresh the web page and you will see the wide stage login interface. Introduce your just created super admin credentials and enter into wide stage to start operating. Thanks for watching. If you need more info or additional help, go to widestitch.com.